find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right This is just a bust. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't ballin' yet. Hoes wanna holler? Oh no, I don't call them back, girl. Let me see you hold it down. We gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you gonna do with all of that. Ain't gotta say a word. I know what's up. You can have it all. Watch me rip it off. I'll admit it. You got me feeling hella loved. Even when it's going down, know that we gon' live it up. Young shot caller. Always been a baller. Know that you the one. I can feel it in my heart. Yeah, I won't stop charging. We go and come harder. I can see you and I way beyond the stars, girl. I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right.
Hello. Welcome, everybody. Um, I clearly was not prepared for that. Uh, welcome to the finale of Rocket League for the Northern Shield Academy. Um, yeah, it's finals day, graduation day. Very exciting. For those that were uh, able to tune in yesterday, we had the finale for Fortnite. Today, we have the finale for Rocket League. So joining me today in hosting duties, it's none other than Chris Lama. How's it going? We made it. We made it. Eight we definitely weeks, made it. And we are here. I guess this is the ninth week now, right? So This would be the ninth week, week, yeah. Bonus content, free content, let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, so can you, uh, do you want to shed a little bit of light on what's going to be happening today? Yeah, so uh, we've got a couple of our academy players um, that are going to be facing off against our Northern Shield team that's actually competing in um, or will be competing in events throughout the summer in preparation to try and get into the RLCS. Um, so the goal with the academy is to build rosters out and then hopefully have these academy players play for Shield one day and then eventually play for Parabellum. So we'll see how that all goes. Ooh. That's uh that's a nice development pipeline you got going there. <laughs> yeah. It's important. Um, we talked yeah. about that one week, I believe. Um, and then obviously after after the show match, we have what everybody here is waiting for, the prizes. We have a massive amount of prizes to give away. Um, so yeah, I'm looking it's at a the lot list of right now. It's a lot of good stuff coming. There's a lot of lucky students tonight who are gonna be going home with some some I'm great, jealous. great stuff. I oh I I'm completely jealous. We gave away a full blown PC yesterday. I saw um, that. Yeah. I see. There's a Wave One mic. That's awesome. They're great mics. Somebody's going home with a racing chair today. Yes. Or a gaming chair. Grand prize. The first place winner of um of our leaderboard will be going home with an AK racing chair. So, um, Amazing. some incredible so much good stuff. stuff. Man. Um, yeah, so uh, I know you're big into Rocket League, Llama. <laughs> big Rocket League guy right here. Um, we, game. yeah, can you speak a little bit on uh, what happened throughout the season? Um, I know we we did have eight long weeks of um, of the Academy, so um, maybe uh, just if you want to tell us a little bit of the stuff that uh, happened there, some of the topics maybe, and um, who were any standouts. Yeah, for sure. So, um it's a very long, uh, long academy, eight weeks long, lots of content to go through. Uh, we had Lemon Puppy, um, who was coaching these guys uh, week by week with this content. Uh, we talked about mental performance, car control, which I need to work on myself, ball control, which <laughs> I also need to work on myself, uh, decision making and awareness. You see the pattern here. Um, and then we, we had a couple of good weeks. Content creation week was fantastic. Uh, we got a lot of good feedback on that from, uh, from a lot of the students, uh, boost management, and then some advanced gameplay for those guys who want to take it to the next level, uh, for future academies. So, uh, all of these very, very important, uh, techniques and tactics in the esport of rocket league, the very, very technical game. Uh, and you can see that as you get a little bit better in the game you're always now one step behind the people who have already been at that level for so long. So it's really important to consume this content and put it to practice because everything here, as you adapt, you're going to have to learn those new steps that go along with, with those things. Um, really, I think that's really a really, good. sorry. Uh, I think that that was a real golden key right there is not only do you have to, know about these sort of skills that you should be working towards. But again, like you said, put it into practice. It's all about practice, right? You gotta, you gotta actually do these things and um, consciously make an effort to get better. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can watch all the content, tell everyone that you you know what needs to be done, but until you actually put it into practice, um, you're never going to get better. Uh, so that's what this academy is for, right? So we ask the students every week to go home, go home. They're already home. Um, and show us what they learned that week. So they would do a, a piece of content. We have a really good bunch of guys who, who uh, were really engaging in that. So we've got one in mill, uh, who you guys are going to see today. Um, mm -hmm. one of the most active, probably rocket league guys on the, on the side, uh, we've got Dr. Pluto, uh, not playing today, unfortunately, I don't think. Yeah. Um, I don't think he'll be joining us, but yeah. Also, so those, very are, those are two member. standouts. Um, 
very active members of the shield side. Um, and then uh, you guys are going to see, I guess there's two more that are here too, uh, Iron Eagle and CR Master. So um, those guys, thank you so much for being a part of the Academy. You guys all did a great job. I'm excited to see who won those prizes. Um, so yeah, those are our people. Amazing. Um, and then on the other side, um, playing for the uh, Northern Shield Academy team itself. Um, yes. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a couple players there. Can you tell me a little bit more about them um, and how that sort of came to be? So we had to do a quick substitution, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> so our roster consists right now of Smitty, Jumpy, and Steel. These guys have been with us for quite a while. Um, Jumpy and Smitty were actually part of our academy team back on, or actually one of our main rosters on Shattered Dreams way back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, they're now taking over as being the main roster over here at Northern Shield. Um, and today, unfortunately, Smitty's busy. He's got some work that he needs to do. Uh, so Jamal is our newly assigned general manager of Northern Shield Rocket League. He's going to be stepping into the hot seat tonight and playing some, <laughs> some games with these guys. So we'll see how he we'll does. We'll see if the coach can hang. Yeah, the coach the coach can hang. I think he can. But <laughs> um, Jumpy and Steel are, are beasts. Uh, and if you could see Smitty and the, those three guys all work together, it's, it's unbelievable. They, they, they have a very, very bright future ahead of them. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and uh, are we ready for the games? Uh, no? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to be jumping into the show match. Um, it's gonna, it's a, sure to be an exciting electric game. Um, as Chris Lama mentioned, very high level play. This will be cast by none other than Seeger. Um, so enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, you can go. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Northern Shield, Northern Shield Academy Rocket League action. Glad to have you here with us. I am Baroque Fang for the blue side, Northern Shield. Out on the pitch, we have Steel, Jumpy, and J Mal. For the side of Northern Shield Academy, the orange side, we have the CR Master, Ohio, and one Emil. Glad to have you all here with us. Let's get down into this best of five as Steel. Already putting on some pressure here for the Northern Shield. I will refer to them as Northern Shield and the orange side as Academy just to keep out any confusion. Steel putting on the pressure and again, Northern Shield just sitting here at midfield really already digging in their wheels hanging on making sure that nothing is really too terribly threatening waiting for some sort of a mistake in a best of five situation typically here game number one you have the two teams feeling each other out seeing how style they're going to be playing and what mistakes they can capitalize upon as ohio that was a dangerous touch shot comes out one emil is there and waiting jumpy on top of it gets out to steal able to get the touch but jumpy trying to get the redirect I, I gotta believe like he thought somebody was in the net trying to bang it on home instead accidentally gets a save for his own side steel able to pick it to the boost as ohio going for a flick but jumpy right on top of the net is open but what a bump by emil steel going for that double tap unable to get it on target and that bump was crucial easily would have been 1-0 northern shield without the tap from behind almost the pit maneuvers emil gonna get a shot on target nothing too threatening for J Mal, who's completely out of boost but does get it up to steal able to get the pinch across nobody there to take a shot and just back and forth action again both teams just really feeling each other out we've got some good saves but for the most part nothing is just really absolute banger nothing is threatening nothing is really uh, this is going to be the play that's going to break the ice. That's going to get us our first goal here in the first half of game number one. Northern Shield is applying a ton of pressure, but I, time and time again, it just continues to be turned away, at least out towards midfield. And 
it, it keeps getting thrown back towards the net but again we're not seeing the passing coming out from northern shield that you would come to expect from these players for the most part it's looking to try and get a solo play trying to get a pass off that back while it's jumpy able to do it here and even though the ball is just bouncing across the box nobody there they're playing very passive and sitting on back making sure they are not the team to make the mistake is that ball gonna go on top cross mark down now steel not able to get him and it turns into a tactical fake and jumpy going to be the first goal here for northern shield j mal able to throw it off of the back and again the tactical fake gets the goalie up in the air and jumpy knows what to do with it sitting on in off that defender 1-0 northern shield ohio booming this one on down jumpy there to catch a little heavy-handed gives ohio an opportunity to go up and challenge and that allows a meal again off that back all with steel booming clear on down see our master a little more power than what he was expecting but nothing happening from northern shield and that's just gonna find the back of the net from coast to coast the ball just goes on down we got ohio to see our master and what a calculated 200 IQ play. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. That Ohio knew what he was doing. Able to throw it right up into CR Master who was coming on down that back wall. And just absolutely laser beam all the way down. Tying this game up at one apiece. Coming up on 60 seconds left to play. j Mello says, no, no, no. No, that, that was a mistake. We're going to get this right back. Emil. I talked about one mistake they're they're looking for that chink in the armor they're looking for that one mistake and emil just didn't have that read off the bounce a little bit more power than what he was expecting and j mal great shot center net right past that last defender 2-1 and now in the final 60 seconds here of game number one again this is a best of five a steal what an angle off that second touch ends up throwing it on net and even though again it wasn't the most threatening shot, but just putting on net, you never know when a mistake is going to come out. You never know when a clear that you would come to expect just doesn't happen. You're able to capitalize upon it. So never a bad idea to just continue to pepper the net and do a quote-unquote this shotgun method. Just lots of shots on target and see what happens. It's j -Mal able to put another one to see our master there for the save. Jumpy on back to j -Mal who gets the second tap underneath the top crossbar and Northern Shield. Starting to find their offense a little bit passing back and forth. j -Mal beautifully done. Able to get the second tap. Don't think it was necessary, but always, ladies and gentlemen, always secure your goals. Well done, j -Mal. 3 1 final 30 seconds. Going to be a very tough uphill battle for Academy. If they are to come back, the pressure again being put on by Steel. Able to get a couple of dunks. Cleared out towards mid. Emil. Going to pick this up, gets a pass out towards mid. Ohio a little bit too far back to take the shot, but it doesn't matter because Emil gets the beauty of a doink right over the top of Jumpy coming out to challenge that and that side of the Finnick. Beautifully done. Brings it back within one and don't give up hope yet. Northern Shield Academy. Kickoff is critical. Goes over to J-Mal, able to get the first touch. Able to stay on top of him. It's going to throw this towards the net and kill the clock. But instead, Steel gets another goal. Well done here by J-Mal. To get that off the back wall and Steel pre-jumping from midfield, trusting in the teammate. He's going to make that pass. And 4-2 Northern Shield is going to take game number one. Ball will touch the ground and GG's go out four to two. Northern Shield was a relatively slow start. For the most part, both teams are really just feeling each other out. But you see all the pressure that Northern Shield had. 17 shots to four. Four over four times the amount of shots that the Academy squad had. And you, you got it. It's a testament to how strong the defense was of the, the academy squad. Eight saves coming out. But again, just not giving themselves the opportunities. They had a 50% shot success rate. 50% of their shots found the back of the net. That is 
a fantastic rate, especially at this level of play. It's just about being able to get down the pitch, give yourself those opportunities, and capitalizing on them. We, we saw a couple of times you know, from both sides where it just looked like they were trying to do things solo. And if you can find a teammate on that back wall, on that side wall, especially in that transition, just a quick one-two pass up the pitch is going to help you clear it out so much better. As well as on the offensive side, we saw Northern Shield, they started to get those passing both east to west as well as off the back wall late. Once that started coming in, the goals started rolling. See if they're able to do it here in game number two or if the academy squad is going to figure out how to break the pressure of Northern Shield and give themselves a chance to get right back into this. They did for an incredibly long time, but here we are back. Another fresh clean game, another five minute bout between these two squads. Jumpy getting a couple of dunks off of the back wall. J Mal sitting and waiting, biding his time. Plenty of boost to work with, but unable to keep control. CR Mastery sends it out. Jumpy going for the bounce shot. Ohio gets the touch, but it's not a great clear and steal. Able to steal that one away and get things started off early here for Northern Shield. Well done. As mentioned, Ohio, not the clear he was looking for. The bounce shot, it throws off everybody, even throws off the professionals. It's not what you're expecting. Even though he's able to get the touch, just not the right spot. Steel was in the right spot for that. 1-0, but still plenty of time on the clock. j Mount. Able to get the flick over the first one, Emil coming on back, sending it towards mid, but the shot by Jumpy just a little bit thin. Emil getting the pinch pass one, getting it by the second, now in a 1v1 situation. CR Master, Jumpy rushing on back, able to get the pass out, gives some space, but Jumpy stays on top of it long enough, able to get a couple of touches. It get it uh, pressure broken instantly and again that's what academy has been struggling with the northern shield been doing a great job even when the ball is down on their side of the pitch continuously able to get one two touches get it on out towards mid pick up some boost and get right back on offense CR Master, 50-50 by a jumpy kicks out to Emil able to go over the second then a great pass out to CR Master well done, biding his time, waiting on the touch by j Mal and at least throw it up into the corner. But it quickly, one, two, three touches already being thrown at the net by Northern Shield. Not able to get it on target. But Northern Shield Academy, they again, they're doing a great job so far in this game. And comparatively to game number one of at least getting the ball out towards mid and giving them some space to be able to pick up some boost and challenge these balls a little bit sooner. Being able to throw the Northern Shield pressure off, get them out of the rotation a little bit sooner. And even though the shots are not coming in, they're giving themselves the opportunities. They're not having to sit in net and get save after save after save just to be able to get any sort, any sort of touches. Emil. Gonna pick this one up on Jumpy. Gets it over the top. Just j Mal to beat. Doesn't have the boost. j Mal, Calm, cool, collect. He gets the catch. Gets the boost over the corner. Steel off the ceiling up to Jumpy. Gonna try to get this pass off the back wall. Steel still had his full lip and able to get a touch. But again, just a little bit wide as we are under two minutes left to play here in game number two. Still only a 1-0 lead. A huge pre-jump by Jumpy. But Steele unable to get the touchdown with three on one breakaway. But Emil not having boost, able to win the 50 50. J Mao sends it across as Ohio unable to get that touch. It was a very aggressive play coming out from a Northern Shield. But uh, that's just a testament to how much they trust one another, expecting themselves to get the touches in the same spot that everybody expects. And if it doesn't work out, the third teammate is there, bail him out, able to get the save, able to get the touches. But Sierra Master puts it on target, jumpy. There for the save, wow, that was a great shot, an even better save. Coming out, Emil, able to put a couple of touches. Sending it on down is j Mal right back to jumpy. Can't get the touch, steal. Going for that double tap. 
Again, always applying the pressure. J Mao able to get the boost, but not getting the ball. And Northern Shield, yes, they're feeling good. Yes, they have the pressure. But again, this is only a one goal lead. They are one mistake away from potentially the game being tied up. Iron Academy. Caster Curse. I'll I'll take I'll take the blame on this one. As soon as I'm talking about the Academy squad being able to tie it up, a great 50-50 comes out, hits the ceiling, and drops right down in front of Northern Shield. Able to capitalize on that one. Good read, open net, no problem. 34 seconds left on the clock and up to 2-0. Ohio. Gonna clear that one all the way down. Nobody able to follow it up, though, Steel. Going to 50-50 with the meal sends all the way across. That's a dangerous touch there by Jumpy, but everybody from Academy is so far forward trying to press the issue and trying to do everything they can to get a goal. It ends up just popping over the top of them. Ball sent right back down to Meal. That shot just a little bit. Then Ohio goes a little too far on the cut. Emil sending it on back, but Steele across the pitch. Ball does stay up. See if they can't get one more goal to go. J-Mao. To steal to jumpy challenged out by CR master ball still staying up though Jmal right back into the corner Emil able to get it out but the ball does eventually fall to the turf and Northern Shield taking back-to-back -back games by a two goal differential each time but the difference they're in game that they had 17 shots in game number one Northern Shield only four shots Northern Shield Academy four shots so definitely a much much better game as far as pressure is is concerned between these two squads for academy they just couldn't break the defense that go around and, you know they had four shots in game number one and got two goals four shots in game number two just unable to break the ice and a lot of that can be confidence and you see this northern shield squad they are flying around getting these good clean touches as another pre-jump by jumpy pass comes out by steel and hey, academy if they can Continue to intercept those and give themselves a 2v1, 3v1 situation. As we saw a couple of them, it's just a matter of being able to have the boost to capitalize on it. They have the skill. They have the talent. It's just putting it all together, one go around, and capitalizing on those opportunities. Northern Shield looking for the clean sweep. Already putting pressure on. Shot coming out by Jumpy. CR Master has to stretch out to save it. Steal. Going to continue to put that pressure on his academy. Looks like they're having a little a bit of communication issues as far as bunching up and not really sure where each other is. We've seen a couple of double commits come out and, and wasting boost. If they have that opportunity to get out, will they have the boost to capitalize? j -Mau. challenged by Ohio, but it drops right down to steel. That's going to top crossbar down and out. Jumpy. Trying to go for that bounce shot once again, but blocked and cleared out by Emil. Able to throw it up into the corner. Steel, great catch. Getting it by CR Master just as Ohio to beat. Does get demoed for his trouble. Gets it on by Emil. Rushing on back. Able to get in a defensive rotation and pick up the save. Emil. Challenged out into the corner. Jumpy. Getting that wave dash, going for a wave dash dribble, but challenged out by Ohio and Academy. You know, they're feeling good. They are pressuring and challenging these balls very quickly up in the air, not having any hesitation when they break out of their side. But again, just not able to find one another. This Northern Shield squad is so incredibly fast to the ball that when you do attempt to pass them, it is not a snap infield pass. You can always expect... Northern Shield player to be in between you and your teammate as the ball is coming. Being right there for an interception as Jumpy and Steel combined to pick up that save. Able to go out towards mid. Jumpy with the fake just as CR Master is going to go for the carry. Jumpy! Oh my goodness! Jumpy just ended that man's career and then the beautiful carry. Top crossbar pinch. Add that one to the highlight reel, Jumpy. That was beautifully executed from point A to point B the whole way through. 1-0 Northern Shield. We have hit halftime here in game number three.
Ohio. Able to clear it on down. It goes to Steel. Going to go for an air dribble. Into passing it. And Jumpy, who gets the redirect? They've been going for that pre jump for two straight games. Able to connect here. Steel over the top of Emil. And Jumpy already in the air. Right place. A beautiful pass. And I know Jumpy is going to get credit for that goal. That was all steel jumpy just had to be up in the air and touch the ball steel put it perfectly on his hood and that is so incredibly difficult jumpy had this huge net steel had an itty bitty car well done and then steel gets the benefit of this beautiful pass coming out from j mal bounce off the wall gets the half volley and steel just sitting in the box banging it on in Cinternet 3-0 Northern Shield. They are starting. All right. Looks like we're having some technical issues here, but that is okay because uh, we're back. <laughs> Um, so I guess you could tell um, a little bit of yeah I think uh, yeah we're having some some issues there but it's all good um, yeah the Northern Shield team strong uh, Emil is insane Very. CR Master also looked really really good out there um, unfortunately we were missing one person so uh, Ohio stepped in Ohio is one of the the ex GMs from Shield he's uh, he's now been transitioned as a social media manager over on Parabellum. So uh, you can see a little bit of the structure of our organization um, as things go, but that was fun to watch. Yeah, it was. And uh, it's it's really cool that you uh, you pointed those things out because it really shows a little bit about how you can um, transition from not only a player to but to actual roles within an organization um, and actually make a long career out of esports, right? Um, exactly. Something that many of us here are looking to do mm -hmm. so yeah uh with with the way that we have things structured obviously it's it's tiered based which you don't see a lot of uh right now in the esports industry so we want to get people in on the on the ground level understand the industry learn how to do what they need to do and then move forward and get them into the process to get onto a professional organization so coming through the academy as a student then being on the team as a player, learning how an academy level um, organization runs and then have younger people probably managing and coaching, learning, working with us on the Parabellum side and on the Amuka side, getting those things, uh, that, that kind of education and then giving opportunity to, to move up to the next level. So That's beautiful. I love to hear it. I love, love to hear that. Um, yeah, so we, we saw some high level play there, um, really come out from the, uh, from both teams really. Um, and yeah, just a quick thank you to Seeger, uh, for casting that match. Um, and we're going to throw it to a quick little break before we get into the prizes, what everyone here has been waiting for. Um, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back in one minute.
Welcome back. That was a that was a quick little break. had a had a couple messages from our sponsors, and we are back with Chris Lama, Northern Shield Academy, and we're giving away some prizes. This is it's, the fun part. It's that time. It's that time. Um, so I'm I'm very excited to be doing this. So let's let's just get right into it. Why not? Why not? Why delay any further? So first up from memory express they are receiving a 200 dollars gift card um, for the most improved player uh, so most improved player obviously we looked at your skill level coming into the academy and where they were at leaving at the end of this eight weeks right um so yeah let's uh let's get a, a bit of a drum roll going and announce the winner let's go chris put their practice in we've got Iron Eagle. Iron Eagle. Well done. Congratulations, Iron Eagle. You are the most improved player of uh, the Rocket League Academy. Uh, so congratulations to you. All right. Uh, next up, we have, um, and if we can get uh, the photo on screen, that would be great. We have the most fashionable award One M Mill. Congratulations, one M Mill. You are hey, yo, swagging. Ask me. You are swagging I think, hard. Uh, I love it. I think a lot of it went down to the matching of the scenery. Very retro. Love the look of it. And actually did the work and posted this and, and like took a nice screenshot. Just went above and beyond. Absolutely. Um, all right. Next up we have the content creator award and this is a really cool one um super super happy to be uh partnering with elgato on this award so um the content creator of the academy award will be winning in elgato stream deck and uh yeah chris please please do us the honors who will be Looks taking like home the stream deck somebody's gonna be very happy tonight you're cleaning so house. Very, very happy tonight. One in Mill is also going to be going home with the content creator Ooh. award. It's incredible. How? Congratulations, One in Mill. He's cleaning house. The 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 stream deck is going to bring your content if you're streaming to the next level. It's going to be a good addition uh, to your whole setup. I love my stream deck. I don't know where I, I gotta start traveling <laughs> with it. And just hot keys. It's, it's your little baby. It's your little baby. That's need help fantastic. That up, you let us know. We'll, we'll hook it up. We'll let you know. Yeah. Throw us a DM. Chris Lama, his DMs are always open. So always. slide in them. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Uh, next up, we have the eSportsmanship Award, and we're just going to roll to a quick clip from Seagate. Hi, this is Mike from Seagate. We are happy to be awarding the eSportsmanship Award uh, to the player who has distinguished themselves through acts of sportsmanship and ethical gameplay. At Seagate, we value teamwork, and being a sponsor for this award is very meaningful for us. Being a good sportsman takes mental strength to balance winning and being a team player. That being said, we are happy to present a Seagate Fire Cuda Gaming Dunk to this year's Gaming Academy winner. Ooh, baby. <laughs> the eSportsmanship e Award? All right. Uh, yeah, and the winner of the Seagate Fire Cuda Dock. Who is it, Llama? I wonder who it could be. <laughs> One and mil again? One Emil again. Congratulations, one Emil. Now, this, you know, there there might be some people who are like, hey, is this rigged? Like what what's going on here? But one Emil has put in the work. He has dedicated himself, and all of these uh awards and prizes that he's winning are are very much deserved. So I think what it comes down to and, yeah. and it can tell everyone um what it what it takes to be part of our academy and the people who actually did the work every single week and who were a part of every single week are now reaping the benefits of that. So put in your work, do your work, it's just like school. One day <laughs> you'll be in our seats and you can take over and do what you gotta do. Put your eight weeks in. All right. Um, yeah, and next up um, we have the msi mvp award so this most valuable player award um yeah is sponsored by msi let's roll to a clip from them hi i'm ken from msi we hope your prize will assist you on your gaming journey here at msi we dedicate countless hours and resources to supporting the esports community and we are excited to support and watch gamers like yourself grow we are happy to present a MSI Gaming Motherboard to the most valuable player of this year's Gaming Academy. Ooh. All right. Um, and the most valuable player of this the Northern Shield Academy um, will be going home with an MSI Motherboard. Um, it's, it's a good one. It's a big one. And um, yeah, Llama, let, let, let the winner know who it is. I'm reading the chat right now, and everyone thinks uh, it's a mill again, but it is not. <laughs> we have a different winner this time. Uh, this is a great one. We got Dr. Pluto with the MSI motherboard. Well Dr. done. Dr. Pluto. Congratulations, Dr. Pluto. Um, very much deserved for these awards. Everybody who, who came in and participated, thank you so much again. Um, and now, on to the leaderboard prizes. So we'll be starting at uh, number 12. Lama, would you do us the honors of announcing our 12th place winner? What will they be winning? So this uh, this one's uh, Ubisoft game for honor. Great game. I don't know if you've played it. It's a lot of fun. Um, we have King Keith 2003 going home with a Ooh. brand new game. Game key for Ubisoft for honor. Thank you so much, Ubisoft, for that. And congratulations to King Keith. All right. We're going for uh, the 11th place now. It is another another game key um, by Ubisoft from uh, Rainbow Six Siege. So Very an exciting title. My heart. Yes. Of course, um, fans of Parabellum. Make sure know. you guys watch Parabellum this weekend. Let me look at my calendar. <laughs> uh 6 p.m on april 24th we're playing degeneration make sure you guys tune in and whoever wins this maybe you could be part of our team one day uh we have nario nario is the winner nario we know congratulations nario you're you're going home with uh ubisoft rainbow six siege and you've come in 11th place at this year's academy yeah um, all right, next up, we have another game key. It's Ubisoft Immortal Phoenix Rising. Um, again, if, if you check out the Northern Shield uh, Academy 
YouTube channel, you'll be able to see a fantastic game review of Immortal Phoenix Rising on there done by Parabellum, Parabellum's Laura K. <laughs> so uh, fantastic looking game. It's cinematic. It's, it looks beautiful. So um, yeah, who's, who's come in 10th place and going home with Immortal Phoenix Rising? The one and only Sick by Birth. Enjoy Ooh. that game. It looked it did look like a lot of fun. Uh, I did not get a chance Looks to play amazing. this one, but uh, Laura did a really good review on it, and she, Laura, tells the truth. If she enjoys a game, uh, she'll tell you, and she really, really enjoyed this one. Awesome. All right, now we're getting into some hardware. Um, so in ninth place, ninth place winner will be winning a Corsair HS60 headset. So you can make sure you have all the uh, all the all the sounds come into your ear holes, so that you can be as competitive as you need to be. Um, Llama, please tell us who has won the Corsair gaming headset. Awesome headset! I believe these are the ones we use over at Waves, right? They um, are. They are indeed. Great headset, and the winner of this one is Harsh. Congratulations on getting yourself a new headset. Congratulations, Harsh, and uh, thank you to Corsair for that one. Yeah. Um, all right, and this this is the one that you were excited about, Llama. Um, so well, you want to go ahead? Us. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So um, Elgato Wave One. Uh, I do have the pleasure of using the Elgato Wave Three right now. Um, really, really, really hot head, uh, microphone. So whoever wins this one, super excited for you. Uh, this one here is going to be going to. And uh, congratulations on going home with a wave one from Elgato. Woo! Great congratulations, Panda. All right. Uh, next up, we have a $200 gift card to Memory Express. Um, you could buy a lot of things with $200. Set yourself up with some sweet, sweet upgrades. Yeah. Um, and coming in, uh, what is this? One, two seventh place i can count so coming in at seventh place on the leaderboard for the season we have icx shot so icx shot congratulations you're going home with 200 dollars from memory express enjoy yeah. that i could use 200 dollars from memory express right now that would be that'd be very very nice for sure we all could we all could <laughs> all right next up we have the Seagate Xbox game drive. It's a five terabyte game drive and it is in a Cyberpunk 2077 theme. So really, really slick looking game five drive there terabytes? for the Xbox. Five terabytes. Five Do you know how many games of... you could fit? That's, That's a, a lot, lot of Rocket games. League. <laughs> um, wow, five terabytes. Alex, we need that. It's, maybe we should uh, just, you know, <laughs> well let's announce the winner and then we'll talk to him on this side uh All cr right. master five terabytes that's insane enjoy your five terabytes and the enjoy. cyberpunk the cyberpunk design on those hard drives are wild so that's a really yeah really they cool look one. they look very slick they're they're awesome looking hard drives so congratulations again Congrats, cr master cr master all right we're getting into some more msi motherboards so next up, we have the MSI MPG-X570. Um, so that's a lot of numbers thrown at you there, but these are high-end motherboards brought to you by MSI. So enjoy these. And um, yeah, coming in at fifth place, we have none other than Twilight Dark. So congratulations, congratulations. Twilight Dark. You are going home with an MSI motherboard. Woo! All right. I'm so jealous of all these prizes. I mean, it's we just get to give I them have away. The Academy. And... <laughs> seems seems a little biased, Chris. <laughs> Change my name. It's all good. Um, that's crazy. Who do we have next? Um. So the next one is an MSI MAG Z490 Tomahawk. That is a mouthful. Sounds yes. like it is a beast of a machine piece. Um, and we're going to give this one or somebody who earned it, Wayne 
Uh, I can't even pronounce that. Schlatt. Schlatt. Come on. Schlatt. You can pronounce that. Wayne I'm Schlatt. Italian. There's, there's... <laughs> Wayne Schlatt. Congratulations. Enjoy your tomahawk. Oh, man. All right. And uh, now we're getting to the top three. So, I mean, a lot of a lot of these students, all of them put in a lot of work to climb this leaderboard. But we're we're getting it's about that time. Top three. These people have been standouts. Um, they put in the work and I'm happy to announce uh, the third place winner. So the third place winner uh, will be going home with a TP link gaming router. Uh, this is a C5400 gaming router. Um, you you need good internet connection if you're going to be doing really anything in gaming. It doesn't even matter. If you're you're getting all the ups and downs. <laughs> all right. So the top three in third place of the Academy this season, we have... I'm going to do a drum roll for this one. Just all right. The last three, three I'm, right. I'm in with you. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Woo! All right. The keep winner... Going. Yeah, Iron Eagle. Iron Eagle, congratulations. You are going home with a brand new gaming router from TP Link. <laughs> what, the what's happening shaking. there? <laughs> the mic was shaking, but Iron Eagle, you're going to get all the speed now. It's crazy. That's, oh, that's man. an insane router. That's okay. So, ooh, all right. We're getting into the top two now, and it's, it's getting a Zero little spicy. Ping, so. Give me Sorry. negative pings. Emil says zero <laughs> ping. Minus 10. Let's go. <laughs> Minus 10. Every, everyone needs fiber internet. Let's go. All right. We're, we're getting into the top two here. And uh, in uh, the second place winner will be going home with a Seagate Fire Cuda gaming SSD. So this is an SSD, not a regular hard drive. We're talking, you know, the fastest speeds you can get from a drive. It is going to be a two terabyte drive. So, ooh, all right, drum roll. Let's go with a drum roll. Drum roll. Last, yeah. last ones. My whole desk is shaking when I drum roll, so I gotta be light on. <laughs> all right, the winner of this one, Doctor Pluto. Woo! Good job. Congratulations, Doctor Pluto. That is Enjoy a that. that is a second two place finish drive. there. Yes. All right, and um, we're not going to get a drum roll for this one. It's it's the first place winner. Does this one need a drum roll? This one needs a drum roll. Definitely right. needs a drum Let's roll. Let's see if the chat knows who our number one winner is. Should, should we take a Everyone second to... Everyone in the chat to... is drum rolling right now. <laughs> All right, so in first... Uh, sorry, our first place prize from AK Racing is an EX Red gaming chair. Everybody wants a gaming chair. Nobody wants to shell out for one. This lucky, lucky winner, actually not lucky, well-deserved winner of, of the, the Northern Shield Academy. And let's get a drum roll going. And the winner is, you guys are already calling it in the chat. We have one Emil. Congratulations. Woo! I feel like you're going to get a lot of boxes coming in the mail very, very soon. All from Northern Shield Academy. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm that one ML cleaned house today. It's like the Grammys. It's like being like, you know, Drake at the Grammys or something and just, you know, like we said, he put in the work, did everything uh, part of the stream today because of the work that he put in. Uh, so congratulations. You earned it. For wow. sure. A lot of good stuff. Yeah. Um, all right, and uh, we're coming to the close of our stream, but um, before we do, I just want to thank everybody here who who uh, tuned in today, but also participated for a full eight or nine weeks, right? Um, came out and put in the work, grew their skills, had some fun with us, built our community. So thank you. Thank you to everybody who participated and uh, was part of the Northern Shield Academy. Yeah. Um, and lastly, again, before we close, I want to give a huge, massive, massive thank you to our sponsors. None of this would have been possible without them. So I'm just going to name them. Um, yeah. Thank you so much to Seagate Gaming. You, you were the title sponsors and uh, really were instrumental in making this happen. So thank you so much to Seagate Gaming. Thank you to Corsair. Corsair, you were an amazing sponsor as well. Thank you so much. 
We have AK Racing, thank you, Elgato, TP Link, AMD, Memory Express, and we got more, don't worry. Thank you to Ubisoft, Thermaltake, Canada Computers, and lastly, D&H Canada. Thank you so much to our sponsors. Great people. Great you were sponsors. instrumental in uh, in setting this up, and you uh, you did a fantastic thing for the community in uh, getting everybody in here and just yeah, growing growing the uh, esports ecosystem. So thank you so much. This is grassroots, and this is uh, this is where it's at. All right, Chris, do you have any last words? Any last thank yous you want to get out? That was a lot uh, of thank yous. Yeah, for sure. I just want to thank everyone behind the scenes who put all of this together. Uh, we got Vince in production back at home, Laura, who's <laughs> doing her hard work, um, yourself, who's been kind of the face of, of most of our streams uh, since the beginning of the academy. I can't believe we're already nine weeks through. I remember when we were writing the curriculum. So, uh, and, and of course, all the students, like without you guys, we don't have stuff like this happening. We don't have uh, to see you guys smiling, coming home with new prizes and stuff. So just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Make sure to follow along with what we're doing. There's hopefully going to be more academies like this in the near future. Um, and we'll see you when that all happens. For sure. And um, don't forget, we do have our finale stream uh, for Valorant tomorrow at 7 p.m. So if you are part of the Valorant Academy, or if uh, you just want to tune in and see how the Valorant side is holding up and uh, how they're doing, tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, at Northern Shield Academy on Twitch. So we'll we'll see everybody tomorrow. Thanks so much. Searching for higher ground Can't see in front of me My enemies have tried every possibility